I mean, living years together uh, with these other validated uh, members of different races. And we come to find out we have a lot of things in common and that, you know, we have similar upbringings and similar, we went through similar things and, and, and understood why we, we thought the way we did. And a lot of it was that we were manipulated that uh, by older people that you know that you uh, look up, you've looked up to for one reason or another in the administration. Uh, and they, there's a separation and there's like, it's a subtle manipulation where uh, you believe that, you know, uh, you're all separated. And this is the, this is the ploy. This is how you break down uh, a community, a, uh, a race or whatever. You, you start splitting them up, having them fight each other, and then you just pick them off after that. You know, they're so busy fighting and killing each other that, and then they're screaming to the public and look how dangerous these people are. We need to do this and we need to do that. And if you look back, if you look really truly into the roots of all that, it's money. It's all behind money and control and manipulation. So, um, uh, you know, the, in the prisons, we would all go out somewhere to, to, to the dining room to eat. It would be whites on one side, the blacks on one side, and the Mexicans on one side. So, uh, and then, you know, once we got to, you know, learn and through our own experiences and uh, through our education, you know, this is a this is like a, a microcosm of the entire world. The communities out there is somebody's causing the separation, and uh, where you just hate a, a group of people or a whole idea of something because someone implanted it in you. And if you're honest with yourself and you truly look into that, you'll see that. Because I know that when I look back on my uh, life and the things I went through, man, most of it was uh, uh, I was indoctrinated with it and I, at that. So, but you don't really believe it at the time. It's just over, you know, through your life and experiences, you learn to see the truth if you truly look in, within yourself and uh, accept the truth. Um, that I mean, why should you hate somebody that never did something to you? That or you should hate a whole race of people just because they got a few assholes. Or, you know, a whole bunch of them. It doesn't matter. Even if it's a 99 out of 100 and that one good person, why would you want to hurt him? Or, or if you really look at it, just because the other 99 are um, who you call unworthy or whatever to your to your beliefs and principles. But, you know, and it's the same thing with the countries. Everybody's fighting each other. And, you know, one country against the other country. Man, I mean, this is a manipulation. That how could you just... And we're led to believe these people are um, enemies of the United States. I mean, I've been told people were my enemy for a long time. And uh, come to find out that when I met some of them, they were the greatest people I ever met. Most honorable and respectful uh, people that I met in my life. And I'm talking about some of the prisoners I met in, in uh, prison uh, that uh, back in the day was considered, they were considered enemies of ours. And... Um, um, you know, that was, that was one of the main purposes of this video uh, because nothing's going to change. We, we all get along here, and we're getting more and more things sticking together. We see that, that our strength. And I want the people to know, too, that it may be some of my younger friends or uh, uh, people that know me are going to see this video, and I want them to know, too. And you, you, you be your own person. In, that, in the hostilities, you know, that's for everybody. In the hostilities, period. Ben, Take matters on on a personal level. Try to try to talk through all that um, uh, without dragging everybody in. Anybody that tries to rally other people to do something, in my in my opinion, are cowards. Uh, that's all there is to it. If people are trying to get support for other for their for their beliefs, why is that? I don't need people to tell me uh, how to believe in who, what I should like and who I should like and who I should hate. Uh, so anybody that tries to 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 uh, instigate you or provoke you into believing one way and to take action against something, we don't have, ask yourself, how come they ain't doing nothing? You know, why are they writing a record back? Or instead of writing them a, a record or putting out a CD, or how come they ain't doing it? And so that's the whole thing. Uh, and they're being paid to do that and they're just puppets. So I hope that people do come together and see the truth that we're all being used. And uh, on a daily basis, still, it never stops. The, the manipulation is still there and until we all come together on the outside and on the inside here. Uh, You'll always be trying to control the strings and, uh, you know, uh, trying to pull the 
pull the uh, wool over people's eyes and get everybody to think we're all enemies and continue this cycle of violence, uh, unnecessary violence. And I can say people could def defend themselves or, you know, and I ain't saying stick up for themselves or nothing like that. I'm just talking about hating people that you don't know just because uh, someone told you to do that or if you, you know, that you were manipulated and believed in that. That's, that's all I have to say.